if you want to make an impact into people's lives, uh, I don't know that there, you know, other than perhaps medicine, um, I don't know of another profession where you get to know people and families to the, to the extent that education allows you to and to make a direct impact into the way students are learning. What's more powerful than building a community? What's more powerful than training and challenging the minds of people who are going to be running the world? I highly recommend pursuing a career in education because uh, it's important, especially today, um, given the global nature of the economy and the financial um, state of the world, it's important that people who are um, very competent go into education. We need the best and the brightest going into education. I really love middle school. They're so sassy. Um, and I, I'm able to have a conversation with them, and they get humor, and um, they're more, they're, they're very curious, and I just, I enjoy their company a lot, and I really want to be in a science middle school classroom. I think it's really important to think about education from a, a standpoint of how and where can I make a difference, um, more so than money. I mean, we all know, I mean, even as a principal, it, it may look pretty to have a, a nice salary, but at the same time, the number of hours that you put in, the time that you put in, the difference that you are uh, looking to make, more so than the money you're, you're willing to make. And, and I would say it's, it's all about the heart. I really think and how much you want to make a difference in other people's lives. I'm majoring in English secondary education with certificates in Gender and Women's Studies and African American Studies. So I am a part of the secondary education program here um, which prepares teachers, future teachers, to teach anywhere from 6th to 12th grade. I am a first generation high school graduate and a first generation college graduate. Yeah. Uh, I want to be a teacher because, in the words of Nikki Finney, the 2011 um, winner for the poetry category for the National Book Award, she said black people were the only people who were explicitly forbidden to read, to become literate in the United States. And so when I think about my calling um, to teach and my passion for education and teaching, it is primarily to uplift my community. I think that it is really, really important to have teachers of color in the classroom, especially when you are teaching students of color. I taught this summer in Brooklyn, New York um, at a predominantly African-American elementary school and to be that face to them and be able to relate to them and tell them that, you know, you can do it too. Because they hear these ideas about college and life after college, but if you aren't seeing people that look like you doing that, I mean, what is it really worth? Um, so to have people in those positions who look like you, I think those are, those are great. They're, motiv they're motivating factors for your students. And I think that it's, it's a necessity. I am a Hmong student, and I've never had a Hmong teacher in the classroom. And so if I can be a representative for my students, in the classroom, I feel like they would have a more positive one, a, a positive experience in the classroom. I think it's really important for us to see uh, minority teachers in the classroom. Um, I think what it what it brings to the table is the difference in how students see themselves, um, the difference in how parents view education um, at times, and also the difference that it makes in how comfortable um, our students feel as they are learning. Um, and, and getting different instruction from different you know, teachers. It's really hard to pinpoint just one event in my life that made me realize how important education was. But if I had to, I think it wasn't my life, but my dad's. My dad, he was an immigrant from Laos. He came in when he was 18, so he didn't know any English. And you know, he, his fate was kind of sealed. Like He was supposed to be this working class immigrant. But uh, he wanted better. And he was told that in order to make something yourself in this country. You had to get an education and, and get a good job. And so that's what he did, and it was really hard. It took him six years, but he told me, he still remembers the teachers that, you know, kind of strung him through. Like his chemistry professor would take him to his house and read to him like children's books to get him to learn English. 
reflecting on that, it made me realize that education can really take you far and it can really do good things for your life. And so I want to be a teacher who can provide that to other people who, who need that opportunity or who need that break or who need a mentor that um, believes in them. I really would like to bring my love for Chinese to my community. Ultimately, I feel like that's what got me to college. That made me stand out on my applications, was being this African-American woman speaking a language that, you know, so many people find so daunting. Um, and so those are my plans. After graduation, pursue a master's degree, um, go off and teach, hone my craft, and try to become a master teacher. Um, that'll take forever. But, you know, and then, long term, down the line, open my own school. And, and that's what really drove me, and that's the message that I send to a lot of people. Um, when I speak at different universities, um, I always speak to them about having a purpose. And when you go into education, hopefully you have a purpose and you have goals set for yourself uh, in terms of the number of kids you want to reach, um, the difference you want to make in kids' lives, the difference you want to make in family and parents and uh, the community. Um, all those different things, it's, it's really important to kind of start thinking about those things because they really make a difference while you're in the education field. We all know that education isn't a, a place to make a million bucks a year, but it is a place where you can make a million buck difference. Education has been a tremendous uh, positive experience for myself and, and um, I really wouldn't change it for, for the world. We need teachers.